sale. Another Ratna. Turnover around Rs 48,000 crores. India's largest steel producer. Bokaro Steel Plant BSL, the fourth in the group, started production in October 1972. With five blast furnaces, BSL presently produces 4.8 million tons per annum of steel. Leveraging the engineering, erection and installation strength of Larson & Tubro, a global engineering and construction company. Along with Paul Worth, a leader in BF engineering and technology. BSL intends to upgrade 33-year-old BF2 for achieving higher production of 4,500 tons per day an extended campaign life of 25 million ton hot metal from the same hearth. Upgraded BF2 has enhanced features over the earlier BF. Working volume of 2250 meter cube against 1750 meter cube. Hearth diameter 10.2 meter against 9.75 meter. 28 tours against earlier 22. Hot blast temperature of 1200 degrees Celsius against 940 degrees Celsius. The new state-of-the-art BF will feature some major changes. Throat staves in place of fixed throat armor. Stave coolers in place of plate coolers. Refractory cast BN shell and staves in place of refractory brick in stack. Belly and Bosch. Additional under hearth pipes below carbon blocks required for enhanced furnace cooling system. Prior to the erection of new BF2, the old furnace with supporting structure needs to be dismantled fully or partly after shutdown. To crash the time limit, some offline parallel activities shall be done prior to the shutdown. such as fabrication of BF shell in four modules, fabrication of tower structure in four modules, fabrication of bustle pipe, installation of skidding arrangement, installation of CC 1800-1 crane, after some slack cracks are filled and ground leveled. Similarly, supporting structures, new pump house, ESP, chimney, overhead water tank, and duct support foundation will be done prior to shutdown. Including foundation of tower structure, a critical job because of existing foundation, rail cracks, running ladle cars, and unknown underground facilities. Activities after shutdown Partial dismantling and grading of cast house 3 Installation of CC 2800-1 crane Dismantling of roof sheets and roof crosses of cast house 4 Removal of BF shell and tower structure Machine hall modification This requires Detailed project work planning, sequencing and coordination. Let us look at the activities in detail. Starting at ground zero, the erection of lower tower structure columns at existing cast houses 3 and 4, up to 6.8 meter level. This has to be done after shutdown as the live cracks carrying hot metal has to be redirected and the connecting bracings removed. Diameter of new BF is bigger than the old one with better hearth cooling arrangement. Modification of BF foundation will be done on the existing one to accommodate the upgraded design changes such as providing 445 into 353 mm slots in 0 to 180 degree direction for the supporting I-beams of new under hearth. The new under hearth has enhanced cooling system but keeping basic foundation unchanged. The structure is pre-assembled in BF Shell Module 1. The work activities include Assembly of under bottom plate 
with supporting I-beams in shell module 1. Assembly of H-beams in 90 to 270 degree direction. Assembly of cooling pipe supporting beams across the H-beams. Assembly of cooling pipes. Filling of refractory in two layers of 170 and 120 mm. Assembly of top plate. To install BF shell module 1, the skid needs to be extended. BF shell module 1, already pre-assembled before shutdown, shall be moved in steps along skid towards foundation by push-pull device. and placed within the reach of CC 2800-1, taking care to avoid uneven settlement of track beam while moving. Erection of BF Shell Module 1 by means of CC 2800-1. Lifting from skid, ensure equal length of individual slings to avoid inclination of module, and suitable boom angle moving over dust house columns. After lowering, check level and alignment of BF shell and place it on the foundation. The balancing counterweight of the crane CC2800-1 drops to the ground automatically to maintain the load balance of the crane. Filling of annular ring shall be done with M30 grade heat resistant concrete due to proximity with hurt zone. Next, the installation of lower tower module 1. Due to presence of cast house columns, the lower tower module cannot be taken in assembled condition. Erection to be done in three parts. Bring lower components of tower module 1 within the reach of CC2800-1 by using CC1800-1. Lifting and placing of 6B3. Lifting and placing of 6B1 and 6B1X. Lifting and placing of lower tower module 1A and then 1B. And now, the bustle pipe. The pre-assembled bustle pipe brought within the reach of CC2800-1 by using CC1800-1. Lifting and placing on temporary structure of lower tower beam at 6.8 meter height. Next, skidding of shell module 2 within the reach of CC2800-1 using push-pull device. Existing dust catcher will be used after some modification to top and bottom cones, part installation. For charging of input materials, erection and alignment of skip bridge up to ground level. The setting up and assembly of BF module 2 shell structure, similar to movement of shell module 1, Shell Module 2 is moved by CC2800-1 to BF Center and placed on top of Module 1. After checking alignment, level and center line, the two modules are clamped and crane released. Welding of Module 1 with Module 2 to start immediately after alignment. For assembly and erection of lower tower Module 2, the red mat for the crane CC2800-1 needs to be extended. Erection of lower tower module 2 from 6.8 meter level to 23 meter level by using CC2800-1 crane. Lift and swing toward BF center, placing module 2 over module 1. After alignment check, crane is released. The extended part of the red mat is now removed. Attention now turns to BF Module 3. Moving module over skid by push-pull device in multiple stage to within reach of CC2800-1. Lifting and placing Module 3 on top of Shell Module 2. After alignment checks, welding done circumferentially with Module 2. 
for completing the BF shell structure. BF Module 4 moved from SCAD by CC 2800-1 to rest over BF Module 3. After alignment, welding of Module 4 with Module 3. Skidding arrangement is shifted away to make space for other activities. Bustle pipe is now lifted to its correct position by chain pulley system and the suspenders connected. Alignment is to be checked with lower tower frame. Till alignment is not completed with shell, the brickwork inside bustle pipe will not start. Erection of floor beams for cast house 4 and concreting of floor sequentially from furnace. Runner is installed in CH4 without refractory. Reconstruction of cast house 4 can now start. First, erection of winch room, then the roofing sheets. And after that, the upgraded EOT crane with girder. Moving into the inside of the BF shell, the sequence of activities. For the entry of carbon blocks, an opening is cut on the BF shell at 14.17 meter. For inside working, a moving platform and bottom fixed platform with the rotary arms are installed. Also, installation and fixing of roller table at CH4 side. Tap hole for carrying the heavy carbon blocks and copper staves. Erection of staves in hearth and chewer area. Installation of carbon blocks. The bottom fixed platform is now removed to enable working in the belly area. For entry of staves, opening shall be cut at 24 meters and insert roller table. Staves are moved inside and gradually installed up to 39.45 meter level. Refractory gunite is then sprayed inside BF shell, except in top cone at this stage. After completing refractory gunite inside, the moving platform is removed. Now it is time to set up the MTS. Prior to that, the configuration of CC2800-1 has to change to SWSL mode to have higher reach. The tower frames kept ready for assembly in the form of panels near to the cast house 3 assembly location. CC1800 feeds MTS module 1 to CC2800-1 which lifts and places it on LTS module 2. After checking alignment of the two modules, hook is released. Next phase of work on tower structure. setting up the fixing beams and the floor beams on the modules of LTS and MTS. For smooth travel of skip car, installation of skip bridge kept ready in the form of panels near assembly area. CC1800-1 helps in assembly of bottom part together with its support structure. Next, the skip bridge middle part, its accompanying support structure. 
the critical installation of dust catcher, downcomer, and uptakes. Top cone along with top part of trumpet and temporary brackets are placed on the cylindrical part. Temporary trestles are fixed on the brackets for holding YPs of the downcomer. CC 2800-1 brings Y pieces and places them on dust catcher top cone and join them by welding. Offtakes are erected. On top of MTS, the upper tower module 1 are brought and erected. This enables erection of skip bridge top portion and its tilting arrangement. Associated reeving and pulley mechanisms. Position UTS module 2 on the top of UTS module 1. The uptakes come up. Now the UTS tears. CC 2800-1 brings down Kama for the side and positions them on the YPs. After tack welding, crane is released to allow load transfer and alignment. For it, 80 mm gap has been provided. Erection of revolving DB. The down Kama near side brought and positioned on Y pieces Refractory granite is sprayed inside BF shell above 39.45 meters. Now the top fixed platform is removed, followed by erection of bleeder platform, stairs, bellless top, and top equipment. As a finishing phase to BF2 upgradation, cast house 3 and 4 shall have to be reconstructed. Workhouse CC2800-1, its job completed, is removed together with its red mat. Erection of roof crosses in CH3. Installation of EOT crane girder. CH3 shall have to be concreted after installation of floor beams. The runners installed. The refractory lining and covering for runner in CH3 and CH4. And finally, roofing and shade for CH3 and CH4. Upgradation of PF2 will require the augmentation of the following myth.